Beginning that 23rd, we shall now undertake what we call a hunger strike. We would rather die in this park waiting for compensation other than dying out there where nobody is noticing that uh, we are getting extinct waiting for the compensation. Huku Rais wa Marekani ya kitarajua kuzuru hapa nchini tarei 24 hadi tarei 26 mwezi huu wa adhirika mkasa wa bomu uliofanyika mwaka alfumoja tisamia tisina nane wanalalamika kutelekezwa na wanataka Rais Obama aweze kuingilia kati ili waweze kupata fidia. Kizungumza kwa uchungu, waathirika hao wanailaumu serikali ya Kenya kwa kutogaramia matibabu yao baada ya serikali ya Marekani kuyagaramia kwa miaka mitano. Many many more survivors have passed on without uh, having to see the compensation that we are now yearning for. But why are we demonstrating this time round? We are doing this very important work or march because we want President Obama to know ahead of his visit to Kenya that we are still suffering and we have not been able to be compensated. Levile, wanadai kuwa kwa miaka kumina saba hawajapata fidia yoyote. Ilhali wafanyi biashara ambao biashara zao ziliharibiwa na mlipuko huwa wabomu. Wamefidiwa kikamilifu. Amerika ni embas ilikuwa hapa. Majumba haya mnaweao na i-cooperative hiyo nini zote zimelipwa hizo. Zote. National Housing Corporation pia imelipwa. Kila kitu ufundi ambao imevunjwa hapa ilijengwa pale Moy Avenue. Mokta dada na Moy Avenue ni pesa ngapi ambazo zimetolewa? Why not like mama huyu yuko hapa hapa ambaye anatembea na wheelchair na nini? Kikia sasa, waadhirika wengi wa shambulizi hilo lilotekelezwa na kundi la Al-Qaeda chini ya uongozi wa mwenda zake Osama bin Laden, wameaga dunia na walio hai wanaishi maisha ya dhiki na uchochole. Ni takriban miaka 17 tangu shambulizi hili la kigaidi lipoweza kufanyika hapa nchini. Zaidi ya wakenya miambili walipoteza maisha yao, huku maelfu wakijeruhiwa vibaya. Hadi sasa Fidia yao imesalia kuzikwa katika kaburi la sahau. Nikitarifia runinga KTS kutoka hapa jijini Nairobi. La kwangu jina David Matheri.